good evening everybody this is ramakrishna physics so today let us discuss about uh, torque acting on a projectile due to gravitational force at any point let us discuss about it torque acting on a projectile on a projectile due to gravitational force due to gravitational force at any point okay so let us consider this is uh, y axis this is x axis body thrown like this initial velocity of projection is u making an angle theta with the horizontal so we know that uh, horizontal component of velocity initial velocity u cos theta because we are resolving this velocity into two rectangular components u cos theta and u sin theta this is point o and let me call the highest point as a and this point as b okay so i want to find uh, uh, after time interval of t seconds from projection let uh, the projectile reaches a point p i want to find torque at this point due to gravitational force about origin that means about point of projection so we know the expression of torque tau bar is equal to r bar cross f bar so what is f bar here since the particle mass let us consider its mass is m i can write mg is the gravitational force acts vertically downwards on the particle and we know that uh, i cap is the unit vector along x axis and j cap is the unit vector along y axis i can write this is uh, along this mg is along negative y direction i can write minus mg into j cap minus mg into j cap is the gravitational force acting on the particle and what is the position vector about the point of projection so let me call this point this position as r bar so my aim is to find r bar here i can write like this r bar is nothing but uh, if this component is x and this is y i can write r bar equal to x into i cap plus y into j cap so my aim is to find x and y x means horizontal distance traveled by the projectile after t seconds y is vertical distance y means uh, vertical distance traveled by the projectile so we know time t seconds so how to find uh, displacement along horizontal and vertical direction using s is equal to ut plus half at square because we know time now that's why we have to use this expression what is s displacement suppose if i apply this formula along horizontal direction i can write uh, in place of s x u means uh, velocity along horizontal direction initial velocity along a horizontal direction is u cos theta t means t what is acceleration along horizontal direction you know it is zero why it is zero and i think you know g acceleration due to gravity always acts vertical downwards and its horizontal component since its angle is 90 i can write this is g cos 90 it becomes zero as cos 90 is always zero so if any vector is there in a particular direction and if you resolve that vector into per in the perpendicular component of the vector always becomes zero perpendicular component where the force is there along x axis what is the component of force along y axis zero because f cos 90 since g is along vertical direction downwards g cos 90 becomes zero that means there is no acceleration due to gravity along horizontal direction so i can write in place of a zero therefore x equal to u cos theta into t and applying the same formula along vertical direction in place of s i can write y so y is equal to in place of u what is velocity along initial velocity along vertical direction u sin theta u sin theta into t in place of a i can write minus g as a body moving up against the acceleration due to gravity minus so minus half g t square this is y so we know x and we know y we can substitute here to get r bar and we got f bar as minus mg into j cap so my aim is to find torque 
अबाउट पॉइंट वो अबाउट पॉइंट वो वो मीन्स पॉइंट ऑफ रिजेक्शन सो आई कैन राइट आर बार क्रॉस एफ बार टो बार एक्सप्रेशन आर बार क्रॉस एफ बार वाट इज आर बार हियर एक्स आई कैप प्लस वाई जे कैप वाट इज एक्स हियर यू कास्ट इट आई इन टू टी आई कैप वाट इज वाई दिस वैल्यू आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू सब शूट राइट नो आई विल कीप इट एज इट इज वाई इन टू जे कैप क्रॉस वाट इज एफ बार एज वी नो दैट इज माइनस एम जी इन टू जे कैप माइनस एम जी इन टू जे कैप सो आई थिंक यू नो अबाउट क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट वी नो दैट i cap cross j cap that is k cap so i can write u cos theta into t again minus g minus mg is there into minus mg this is u cos theta into t into minus mg i cap cross j cap is nothing but k cap basing on the properties of vector product and what is the next one j cap cross j cap always zero cross product of its own vector always gives to null vector so i can leave it as it is so this is the expression of torque so tau bar is i can write minus mg into u cos theta into t k cap minus k cap means it is along negative z direction suppose if i want to find only the magnitude i can write modulus of tau bar that is equal to simply tau so no need to take the direction i can write like this mg into u cos theta into t this is the general expression for the torque due to gravitational force general expression for the torque due to gravitational force acting on a projectile about point of projection suppose sometimes he will ask you uh, in the question paper the question may be like this what is the torque acting on the projectile at the highest point in that case we need to substitute in place of t ta in place of t time of ascent so at the highest point at the highest point in place of t just substitute ta because uh, what is the time taken by projectile from point o to point a time taken to reach the point a from point o this is called time of ascent expression for time of ascent is you know u sin theta by g u sin theta by g so if we substitute there what is expression of tau tau is equal to mg into u cos theta into uh, in place of t just substitute u sin theta by g u sin theta by g g gets cancel out and u into u becomes u square i can write m u square sin theta into cos theta sin theta into cos theta means uh, i think you know this uh, expression sin 2 theta expression 2 sin theta cos theta so basing on this i can write sin theta cos theta is nothing but sin 2 theta by 2 so i can write like this m u square into sin theta cos theta i can write like this half sin 2 theta so expression for torque at maximum height half m u square sin 2 theta suppose if he ask you same concept in the same concept he may ask you what is the torque on the projectile when it reaches the ground at point b about point o so he is asking us torque on the projectile at point b about point o due to gravitational force so from here from point o to point b what is the time taken for the projectile means total time nothing but time of flight so at point b at point b total time means time of flight and i think you know time of flight formula to u sin theta by g simply it is twice of the given value already we substitute u sin theta by g simply into 2 into 2 means 2 gets cancelled out the expression for torque becomes i can write like this tau is equal to m u square into sin 2 theta what is u here initial velocity of projection what is theta here initial angle of projection so if we know mass if we know initial velocity and if we know angle of projection we can find torque at any point whether it may be highest point it may be 
uh, the point where it touches the ground or it may be any random point so this is general expression provided if we know time if you know time value we can find the torque acting on the projectile due to gravitational force about the point of projection mg u cos theta into t hope you followed